already and our website site still looks like this well we're going to change the way it looks now bear with me um, the first thing I want to do is uh, deal with the the no spam JavaScript remember you don't want to just put an email address in here um, because spam bots will search it out and they will uh, stick so many emails in your inbox you, you won't know what to do with them so here's what we're gonna do I did find this um, uh, no spam email deal on the web just by typing it in how do I stop from getting spam and I got this in um, simple little code and all you have to do is put this little JavaScript at the beginning um, of your HTML and then change the way your uh, email address is put in there and it tells you all how to do it here and we're at the bronze age bronze dash age dot com forward slash no spam if you want to look this up um, it gives us the JavaScript so we can uh, download, download the JavaScript um, which we need to place in our uh, folder in our, our site folder and then it shows you exactly what to do what it wants to do is take the old um, name and change it to this where it calls the script and kind of breaks it into pieces so instead of mail to nobody and we have nobody fake address dot whatever um, it breaks it into this so we're gonna do the same thing to ours and this way spam bots can't find it it's lovely isn't it so first thing I need to do is I need to copy the JavaScript which is just called the email JavaScript and I need to put it in my sites folder the one I'm currently using is this one I believe and I will just drag a copy into there so that it's right at the top with my index HTML page then I'm going to come back to my to this and it says in the head section of the web page add the following line so I'm just going to copy go over to my page go to code come all the way up to the head section here's the head tag opening tag right here I'm going to make a couple of spaces paste that in and it calls that JavaScript um, and it says it's actually in a folder called scripts that's what those mean so we're going to take it out of here because if I look over here I can see it's not in a folder called scripts so I'm just going to delete it from the code and now it should be able to find it it is now just JavaScript on the same level as my index alright so I'll save that we'll come back over here and we will say that this is the old way and this is the new way so I'm just going to grab this and copy it and come back over here and I'm going to go down and find the email address which is right here so I'm going to make a couple of spaces paste that other script piece in here and now I'm going to kind of break it down right now it says mail to Bruce so I want the word Bruce I'm going to copy it from there just to make sure I don't make any errors and I'm going to put it in right here somewhere copy will take over the place of fake address 9z dot com is represented by a zero and then Mr. Nobody this thing right here is what email me or the text that we'll see actually see on the web page all right so I'll paste that in there um, the dot the zero represents dot com dot org one two dot net we need dot edu uh, once in a while so I don't see it on here but we're gonna hijack this one right here and make it work for dot edu if you need to do that or change it to anything else you need it to be once I link my index HTML um, to this Java uh, script over here by way of pasting it in right here I can see it shows up right here in fact I have two I don't know why I have two maybe because I was practicing earlier but part of that JavaScript says hey if it's a three then it's WS we'll just hijack that one and make it edu and save and if we needed to use edu I would make that a three instead of a zero okay so I'm gonna go back to my live view see if I can see this so I have two email oh, I have two I gotta get rid of one of those back we do not need the old one please take the old one out or all of this will be for nothing okay now back to live 
and there it is. Um, it should work by opening the mail client um, just the way the other uh, call would, but this time at least spam bots won't get a hold of it and ruin your day. All right, so uh, that's just one way of getting around spam bots. I'm sure there's many other ways, but this seemed to be the simplest one. So try that out. Next, let's put the background in our FPO so that we can start aligning stuff to our page. I'm going to take this off of Live View and put it on Design View. Going to the top of the page. I don't need this. I'm just going to put some spaces in here to get this out of the way. I'm going to put it in a new background. So in for my background, um, I'm going to go to my Designer panel, choose Style. I'm putting all this um, code. I'm putting all my CSS inside this one document, and eventually I will put it in an external document. So this is just the way I work. If you'd like to start with an external document, you may do so. Uh, this is just the way I do it. I'm going to get it all right on one page, and then I'm going to put it as an external document, start duplicating the page, so that way all the navigation is in place and I don't have to uh, mess around with that. So here, style, body, don't have a lot to choose from here. In the background, if I click here, I would like to make the background <coughs> image. Um, I'm going to go to this one that says URL, and I'm going to click on this folder, and sometimes I have to do it twice, just because I'm not a very good clicker, apparently. I'm going to go into my images folder, and in my images folder, I'll find the one that says FPO for position only, and I will say open, and it puts this in my background. Okay, now um, the weird part about uh, this uh, <laughs> the CC version is I don't know what's going on here. I need this for alignment and it won't hold still, but I can go to live view and if I go to the top of the page, it keeps it at the top of the page. All right, everything seems to be working better here. So I'm just going to work in live view and start aligning some of these objects. Okay. All right, now I want to put my logo in at the top here. So uh, to make sure it goes in the right place, I'm going to go to split view so I can see my code. I want to make sure that my insertion point is going to be right at the beginning of the body tag. Then I'm going to come over to the insert panel and I'm going to pick common. And from common, I'm looking for image. There's a lot of ways to bring images into the um, onto the website you can do it just by dragging and dropping images into the code or into the um, the live view but I'm gonna pick logo from here I'm gonna say open and you'll see it pop in right here now I'm gonna go back to live as soon as I drop an image in I wanna do something called alt text um, sometimes you'll get a dialog box that pops up and says you know add alt text here and what alt text does is it allows the content and function of an image to be understood by text-only readers. So a person who is visually impaired would be able to roll over this logo and it would say British white logo or logo. Okay, and probably not in caps, but oops. Um, now I can go to the code and see right here where the image is that it's added alt text. Okay. I hope that doesn't yell. Next, um, I also just have this image tag all by itself kind of floating in the body. I am going to wrap that in a text called header so that we can position it with that. So back here to live view, I'm going to click on this so it says image. And then I'm going to go back to structure and look for the header. Oh, here we go, header. I'm going to get this thing that says, do I want it to be before, after, or wrap, or nested inside? And I want it to wrap around this tag. So I'm going to choose wrap. And now I have header that's going around that. We'll look at the code and see that indeed I have an opening header tag here and a closing tag here around my image tag. Okay. So I'm going to write a quick rule for that. We'll come back over here with header selected. I'm going to go to my designer panel, choose style, plus. I uh, don't need it to be that specific, so I'm going to up arrow to make it just header, and then I will enter. When I do that, I get the properties that I can change on here. And what I want to be able to do is move this 
independently on the screen, independent from other stuff. So I'm going to come down here to where it says position, and I'm going to change this to absolute. Next, I'm going to click on the, the position panel, and I'm going to type just one and return it here. So I can use my scrubbing finger. Can you see that little scrubby finger? And push this down until it almost lines up with my FPO. All right. Somewhere about in there, I'm thinking. All right. And then from the left, the same thing. I'm going to say that's a one. And I will scrub that one right on over here until it lines up like so. That's what that FPO is for. Okay. Um, next, we're going to build a box right here. This is going to be our nav box. So where it wants to be, I'm going to go to code and make sure that it comes right after the header. So I'm clicking on header. I want it to come after that. I'll go back to live. I will make sure I'm in. Yeah, we're still good. I'm going to go to insert, uh, structure again, and then navigation. I will click, and I've got this content up here for navigation. Um, I will write a rule for navigation real quick. So we're going to go back to this style, new, less specific, up arrow, return. In this case, I want it to also position. Absolutely. I want to make the background color black. I want, now I can see it a little better on the screen. Um, I'm going to go back to position here. And I'm going to move it from the top. I'm just typing a one in there so I can use the scrubber and I'll move it down so it lines up with the top of that navigation FPL, right? And then same thing for the left. I'm going to use this little scrubber to move it over this way. All right. Now the width of this thing, um, so it covers that whole bar. Um, I'm going to type a one and then I could scrub it over. And this could take a while to scrub it all the way over. And because of my movie size screen, I can't even see it all the way over there, even when I do this. So I already know what this number is, and I'm just going to type it in. It happens to be 1252. So 1252. Whoops. Hello. 1252 pixels. And let me take a look, see if that worked. There it is. Nice. Okay. And then the height. We're going to change that to one pixel and then we'll scrub it down until it fills that area. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be, you know, close. Um, the next thing I want to do is insert the text that's going to go in here. So if I double click here, I should be able to erase that content. And I can do this in the code view or whatever. But this is my navigation. So it's going to be home. Oops. Or Jehome. Home about gallery and contact. Okay. What I'm seeing here and I didn't expect is that the logo which is inside of header, would come over this navigation tag. And it's prob probably because the navigation wasn't inserted in the right place. So here's the body. Um, and navigation is above the header here. So I'm going to move it from here. Just click and drag it down here. And now it should look this way. So the Y is kind of cut off here. So what I'm going to do to fix that um, is I'm going to go to that header tag. And I'm going to make the Z index, which is down here under position, the Z index any number of o over one. Um, and the higher the number, the closer it is to you. So numbers that are higher, if you have a lot of stuff stacked on top of itself, the higher the number, the closer it will be to you. It will overlap the things that are in the background. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do while I'm here is to change the size of this, oh, which I've already done course. Ignore that. Um, I'm going to change the size of the header to match the size of the artwork here. Okay. So if I click on this, I can see that the size of the image is 267 by 91 down here in the properties panel. So I'm going to change my header to match the same thing. So 267 by 91. 
67 by 91. And that will make sure that the header tag doesn't come and cover other stuff um, that I'm going to be uh, have on the page later. Okay, so let's see. Header, correct. Um, we're going to go to the nav right now and we're going to change the text to float. We'll go to text and we'll make it align, text align right, and that should push it over here. And that's looking better. Okay, so looking better. We're going to put the rest of these things on the page when we come back in our next movie, so I'll see you then.